the Houston Texans punched their ticket to the postseason for only the seventh time in franchise history by outlasting the Indianapolis Colts 23-19 at Lucas Oil Stadium on Saturday. The regular season finale served as a de facto playoff game with the winning team advancing to the postseason and the losing team heading home to try again next year. The Texans only needed a single play to make their first statement of the game, as rookie quarterback C. J. Stroud hit Nico Collins for a 75-yard touchdown reception that gave them a 7-3 lead following an early Colts field goal. Collins had a night chock full of highlights, including nine receptions for 195 yards and a diving catch to convert on second AND 14. Stroud was 20 of 26 passing for 264 yards and two TDs. Houston built on its lead with a one-yard TD toss from Stroud to fullback Andrew Beck late in the second quarter. Another Indianapolis field goal cut the score to 14-6 entering half-time. A Colts ground game that gained nearly 100 yards in the first half alone further exploded in the second, resulting in the team's first touchdown of the game. Star running back Jonathan Taylor rushed 49 yards to the end zone, and the successful two-point conversion from Gardner Minshew to tight end Mo Ali Cox tied the score at 14. Indianapolis would later miss Taylor's heroics, as he was absent for half of the fourth quarter due to an ankle injury. He ended the night with 188 yards on 30 carries. The team swapped field goals to keep the score knotted at 17 until Texans running back Devin Singletary punched in a three-yard TD to give Houston the lead at road to victory. The Colts' postseason hopes ultimately evaporated when a throw on fourth and one intended for Tyler Goodson was a bit behind the running back and fell incomplete. An intentional safety on a punt by the Texans gave the Colts two points to bring up the final score. With the victory, Houston can clinch the AFC South Division title if the Jacksonville Jaguars lose or tie the Tennessee Titans on Sunday. Dissecting Texans' first play, we need to discuss the first play of this game for the Texans' offense. Stroud unleashed a deep ball to Collins on a post route, who beat Colts rookie cornerback Juju Brents in a footrace and scored a 75-yard touchdown that somehow looked so easy. ESPN analyst Troy Aikman said Houston had planned this as their first play since Thursday. Stroud is one of the best deep ball throwers and he wasted no time in showing that in his primetime debut. Stroud Collins connection. Stroud's connection with Collins is so fun to watch and shows they can compete through the injuries to Tank Dell, Noah Brown and Robert Woods. Perhaps Collins' most impressive catch led to the Texans' go-ahead touchdown. In the fourth quarter, with the game tied on second and long, Stroud looked like he was throwing the ball away, but Collins somehow got underneath it at the last second for 14 yards and an important first down. Colts come up just short, trailing by six points to the Texans with 6.20 left in the game, 
the Colts received the ball with a chance to drive 75 yards to extend their season and make the playoffs. Rookie wide receiver Josh Downs jump started the possession with a 28-yard reception, and a few bruising runs by Taylor helped Indianapolis get down the field for an eventual fourth and one from Houston's 18-yard line. Following a Colts timeout, they decided not to hand the ball off to Taylor and instead put the ball in the hands of Minshew. Indianapolis QB tried to hit Goodson, who was wide open in the flat, for a first down, but the throw was behind Goodson and it went through his hands. The Colts turned it over on downs en route to the season-ending loss. Jonathan Taylor saves his best for last. Taylor had yet to rush for 100 yards this season. Houston had yet to allow a 100-yard rusher this season. Something had to give when Indy's top playmaker met one of the NFL's top-run defenses, and Taylor did everything he could to keep the Colts' season alive. Taylor rushed for 81 yards in the first half to keep Indianapolis within striking distance, before finally breaking free for a 49-yard score in the third quarter that helped Indianapolis knock the game at 14. The performance Taylor had Saturday validated the Colts' decision to reward him with a three-year, $42 million extension earlier this season, despite a depreciating running back market. He spearheaded Indianapolis' huge day on the ground, which totaled 227 rushing yards overall.